Hello and welcome back to another one of my bike check video. This time it's for my first ever road bike, which was a gift, the Colnago C50. So that is the revamped version, if you will, because I've changed a lot of things on it, almost everything, almost everything. I also decided to have a British accent this time because I think that with Italian flair, a British accent was better, something more European and, well, something that would just uh, go well with Italian flair because I, I, I can't speak Italian anyway. So, the Colnago C50 black and silver with a few touches of uh, what is it yellow doesn't matter well mostly it's just um black and silver so when i when i when i received it it had aluminum wheels with um it was in uh, the group set was uh campagnolo record uh 10 speed because it was uh, the the best group set at the time <clears throat> and i i really wanted uh black uh, components all over the place, so that is what I did. One of the first thing I changed were the wheels. I put some uh, generic 50 millimeters carbon wheels, um, UD mad. They just do the job. They look great. They're all fine. Okay. Uh, for tires, I put um, 25 millimeters Victoria. Corsa graphene control and 25C because there's just no space for more. On that bike, the tire clearance is very, very small. So even 25, this is just the maximum I can put and it's almost too small. Uh, but really there's just not, hardly one millimeter left between the tire and, 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 and the frame. So that's the best I can do. I'll have to... Uh, Turn on the lights from time to time. There you go. Annoying. So this is the wheels. I think it just has um, had uh, some sort of a race feeling to it. And also with a classic and amazing Vittoria gra uh, Corsa Graphene 2.0 tires. Clincher. Clincher tires that are really great. Um, then I also uh, changed the saddle to put something not very Italian, but something which looks just so good. Uh, the Brooks C13, all weather, so it stays really black and with carbon rails. I love that saddle. I think it's one of the most beautiful saddle on the market. It's just so simple and elegant and pure. Uh, it's the carved model with some sort of a cut in the middle supposed to be more comfortable. I don't know, I just like the look of it. As you can see, it's really uh, straight, simple and narrow. That's the original 135 uh, millimeter. Now they, I think they've changed it. So it looks great on it. Start Italian, almost all the rest is. Uh, I also recently upgraded um, the group set to Campagnolo Record 11 speed. So uh, really a recent version of it um, and yeah the shifting is really much better than uh, the 10 speed no questions and so with everything carbon like this it looks great uh, so the, the brakes Campagnolo record as well they are really efficient they work really great I love those brakes much better than the previous ones I had uh, for the stem, I chose once again, if you know me, you know that I love this uh, 17 degrees uh, horizontal slam stem. This one is a Cinelli, it's a Cinelli Mash, which is actually a very famous stem uh, coming from the world of fixed gear bikes because Mash is uh, some sort of a team of fixed gear riders from San Francisco and so this is usually a stem that you see on, on a lot of Chinelli's makes sense but I, I took it and I love it because it's all black Ugh. it's all black aluminum machined really gorgeous simple looks really nice really good quality uh, stem as you can see carbon spaces gloss black has has to be like that. 
Um, I have kept the original Colnago seat post because it's 28 and it's just uh, unique to Colnago, so you cannot find another brand uh, with a seat post. So well, that's it. I also recently, just recently today, actually put an 11 speed hollow um, black chain. Uh, purists will argue that uh, the original Campagnolo uh, chain is better, uh, but it's grey, so it's not possible. I, I, I really wanted a black chain. I think it looks great. Um, so that, that's 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 what I've chosen. It looks re really gorgeous on it, and it's uh, also super light. Um, now for the handlebars, I was lucky enough to get to receive. Uh, that uh, beautiful 3T uh, Aeronova. Uh, you see that it's gonna plug, but it's Aeronova handlebars, which is just great. Has a very nice racy profile, uh, aero profile, uh, but it's really great when you can rest your hands like like so. Um, I love that bar. It's stiff. It's slight. It's sexy. Uh, again, very compact bar, so I love it. Um, I also really prefer the hoods of the Campagnolo 11 speed, much better than the uh, 10 speed. It's really, really very slim, You've got a great grip on it. So these are excellent hoods. Um, and yes, let's face it. I mean, this is just beautiful, isn't it? Check this out with carbon levers, looks great. Um, I once again I chose a uh, super cas uh, bar tape with uh, you know the silver stars of course black and silver goes with great grip uh, really cushy cushy <laughs> sorry for this no choice and uh, so it's a great combination it's not really Italian per se but all the rest pretty much is so that's it. I think uh, that's all for the bike check. Um, I love it. I love that bike. It's my first road bike. And I'm really proud of what I've done with, uh, you know, like uh, revamping it, just, just uh, trying to um, uh, improve, upgrade all the components and to have modern components. The Brook Saddle C13 is, is one of the most recent models. Uh, the Campagnolo 11 speed, of course, and so it's, I think, in my opinion, it's, it's a good mix of something very classic, which you need for Colnago, uh, and you had, I had to put um, Campagnolo group set with Colnago, it's pretty much mandatory, so I had to do it like that. Um, and I really love the result, a very good mix of something almost classic but modern at the same time with a very good racy um, vibe. Um, it's light, 8 kilos. There are many lighter bikes, of course, these days, but that's good enough for me, really. And I, I think that geometry, very classic, with a horizontal top tube and the straight fork, gives that bike a sense of almost timelessness that I love. Okay, that's it. Yes, nothing else to add really. I just love that bike. So see you in some next video of an another bike check. Um, that's it, cheers.